Hi, it's James Marsden from Future Lab here at Eurogamer Expo, and you're watching Eurogamer. Good day gamers, Ian from Eurogamer here. Now I've said it before and I'll say it again, Velocity Ultra, the top down shooter with a teleportation based twist from indie developers Future Lab saved my Vita. Velocity Ultra was the only game I played on my Vita for a long period of time and if it wasn't for that game my little black box would have been traded in faster than my copy of Aliens Colonial Marines. If I had traded it in and not just doused it in petrol and burnt it that is. Anyway, Future Lab were representing at this year's Eurogamer Expo, showing off the long-awaited sequel to Velocity Ultra, Velocity 2X. So I short-form teleported over to James Marsden and asked questions to his face. Starting with Velocity 2X, what's that then? Velocity 2X is the sequel to Velocity. We've taken all the great mechanics that were in the first game, uh, teleportation and um, fast action and puzzles and controls and added them to a, the, the platforming genre. Um, so we've taken uh, all, of the, all of the tricks that we learned making the first game and applied them to Kaitan on foot. So you can uh, take control of the Quark jet to teleport around the environment like in the original, but then you can also dock your ship, get out and run around and uh, take on the evil Vok empire on foot uh, and then get back in your ship and fly on. understand the 2, but what's with the X in the title Velocity 2X? It stands for two times the amount of content, the amount of pla the formats of gameplay, so we're, we're taking two genres and smashing them together. So you said there were two times the amount of content. The first game had something like 50 zones. Does that mean there will be double that this time? It's going to be around the same number of levels, but the levels are going to be twice as big. Uh, you've got top-down sections where you're flying in a ship and you have side-scrolling sections. So you get double the amount of gameplay in a similar scaled game, if you see what I mean. Uh, you've got far more environments. It was just a single environment in the first game. Uh, far more music and we've got a much richer story. Gameplay-wise, the ship controls in Velocity Ultra were pretty much perfect. Have you changed or upgraded the way it controls, or were you happy to let it stay the same? We've kept it intact, um, so the, the responsiveness of the controls and the features that are there are intact and as the original, but we've improved, we've iterated on um, certain things. So, for example, we've now got a camera that has a smooth easing transition that follows follows the ship, so everything feels a little bit smoother, whereas it was very jerky in the first game. Um, we've got speed boost pads, uh, a bit like Wipeout. You go over a speed boost and it ex extends the scroll speed for a short amount of time, so you can have super fast sections. So we're taking that a bit further. Um, We've just improved the responsiveness of the collision, so sometimes you get stuck in terrain in the first game, which is a bit annoying, uh, so we've, we've kind of ironed that out. Um, and the ship just feels a lot nicer to play because of that smoothness, uh, so we've rewritten the engine from scratch. And are you still splitting the levels into three different styles like before? Yeah, so in the first game there were speed, combat and exploration levels, and they, they demand a different style of play to keep things interesting. And we've taken that and, and applied it directly to the platforming section. So you'll have a, uh, a speed level will comp comprise of boosting through a top-down section, docking your ship, legging it through a, a side-scrolling platform section, and then uh, getting back in your ship and finishing the level. Let's talk a bit about the big new addition to the gameplay, the side-scrolling platform levels. How have you worked teleportation into these sections and what other gameplay elements are present to give them the same addictive vibe as the spaceship levels? The unique thing about Velocity was the short-form teleport. You could pick a spot on screen that was free and teleport instantly to it. In a platformer, you can't really do that directly because a platformer requires a player to jump to get to certain areas. So what we've done is we've limited the range of that teleport. You can still teleport, but we call it Teledash. 
so you can dash about five feet in front of you, behind you, up and down. So you can still teleport through walls and floors um, and through obstacles, but it's limited. But it's also instantaneous. So whereas in the top-down section you've got to you've got to walk that cursor on screen and then let go, you can just hit a button and push a direction and you can let go and it's instantaneous. So you can just hop really quickly. As you'll see in the in the footage, um, Kai can just blast through a level really fast by just hammering the, the teleport. What we do is we design the level so that there are obstacles in the way, but if you get the rhythm right, you can just get through that level really quickly. So it's really satisfying. In the first game, we've got telepods that you drop um, to return to previous areas uh, and go in a different route. We're doing something a little bit different with the, with the thrown telepod, um, but it's still uh, to act as an anchor. Um, what you can do is you can touch the screen, pull back in the opposite direction that you want to throw your telepod, a bit like Angry Birds, and the telepod will be flung uh, and you can either wait for the teleport to land and then teleport to it, or you can teleport to it halfway through whilst it's in midair. So you can, if there's a really high, to, a high area that's hard to reach with a little wall, you can lob your telepod. Just as it hits the wall, you can tele -dash, teleport to it and then tele dash through the wall. So you can combine the mechanics in interesting ways. You can also, if you uh, stand at the edge of a precipice, which is basically instant death as soon as you fall down it. It's just uh, hazards all the way down. You can drop a telepod at the top, leap into the abyss, and then do what you need to do on the way down, and then rescue yourself by teleporting back, which is really cool. One of my favourite parts of Velocity was finding all the hidden medals and playing all the crazy challenges that you could unlock. Will we be seeing more of this type of content? We realised that a lot of Velocity's initial charm was about just the amount of stuff that we crammed in there. Um, that, was a, that was the result of working on a, a three-man team for a period of two years. Whilst we're now on a, a more professional timescale, we've got you know, uh, deadlines to meet and we've got, we've got to make sure that the money we're spending is upfront and in the, the core game. Um, so whilst we haven't got quite as much free time to put that extra stuff in, we know, we realise that that's a big part of the original charm, so we're going to do what we can. I don't think it will be as, as extensive as the first game, but there's a flight computer. We're going to have bonus games in there that you pick up, but um, the extra little things, not so much, I don't think. Velocity 2X is also coming to PS4. Can you tell us what to expect with that? That'll be cross by. Uh, it's day one, PS Vita and PS4. Um, we've got a long way to go, so what you see is pre-alpha footage. Um, so we've got, we've got many months ahead of us of polish uh, and getting the PS4 version uh, just in terms of graphics fidelity a bit higher than the, than the PS Vita version. Gotta love Crossby, and from what I've seen and played, you've gotta love Velocity 2x2. The ship sections are still a joy to play, and once you've got a hang of the controls, the side-scrolling sections add so much more to the overall depth of the gameplay. Rather than being a jarring addition that slows down the flow of Velocity 2X, the on-foot sections, based on my early hands-on, seem to fit perfectly. Hopefully you managed to come along to Eurogamer Expo. If you did and you managed to jump onto the Velocity 2X demo, let us know what you thought about it in the comments section below. Righty-ho, that's pretty much it from me. I'm about to telly dash off to get some tea in my belly. But before I go, there's just enough time left to nag you about subscribing again. Just one high-velocity click on that on-screen annotation there will give you instant access to all our exclusive live streams, gameplay previews, early Let's Plays and interactive live streams, which is telly-tastic. Huh, I probably shouldn't make up words, should I? Just end up sounding a little bit silly.